and uh, we're just off the coast of uh, the Carolinas now, in the Outer Bank area, and uh, that's the direct direction we understand the storm is headed. Uh, it's got a ways to go. It's clear here. There's a few, a little bit of structure in the clouds, but not much. Uh, oh, I take that back. There's thin stuff that's uh, that's actually spiraling way out here. In Houston, uh, we're just talking here, and it, it's it struck us. We're used to traveling a, a long ways in a short amount of time, but this storm is uh, stretching from Cuba to the uh, Carolinas, and that is uh, one one uh, scary big storm. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I mean, it was almost six minutes that you guys were directly over that thing, so that just gives us a little bit of the scale. It's pretty uh, pretty incredible. And uh, Mike, they're reporting almost a 300-mile wide wind field on it, so it's uh, pretty enormous. Wow. Um, we're, is there any word on the expectations for uh, further strengthening before uh, additional landfall? Well, Mike, right now they're still holding it at a very strong Cat 3 uh, with maybe a little more strengthening, but they don't expect it to reach Cat 4. Okay, copy that. As, uh, as wide as the uh, wind field is on this, on this storm, there's going to be, uh, I mean, they're going to take a beating for a long time as this thing, uh, uh, as this thing goes across land, as it's doing right now. So it's not, not going to be a short effect kind of thing. It's just going to really take a, take a thumping. Yeah, you bet. And uh, we'll keep you updated uh, throughout the night and into tomorrow. Copy that. Appreciate it. And uh, from the International Space Station, our uh, prayers and uh, hopes are with the uh, people who are uh, uh, hunkering down. Good luck.